Hey everybody, Maria with Fourth Dimension. Hope you're all doing well. I just felt like doing a reading. I'll get the uh, the majority of the zodiac signs out tomorrow. This is just a collective one. Tell me about what's going on, Spirit. What what can we tell the collective? collective need to know. Hmm. Mm. Let me pull a few more cards. Mm. I even put her on new meds. You okay? Yeah? Put that on the side. Ooh, okay. One more, please. Okay, I got a couple more. I'll take them. Bottom of the deck is the moon. Clarify. What do we want the collective to know? Hang in there. This is pretty uh, cut and dry, actually, but I, I always like pulling the details. What can you tell me about the collective's reading today? Hmm. So this is kind of detailed actually. So this might be just for a handful of folks, a very specific read. We are um, in a retrograde. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I feel like somebody is going to chase you. Whoever's watching me. Historically, you're the runner. Um, and now you're not running anymore. And you're not chasing. You're sitting pretty. The moon is out. And I feel like with this uh, walking into uh, the next moon cycle, the next phase, what we're feeling here, I feel, is the residual effects of the, the retrograde of people coming back and trying to, trying to reconnect, maybe close some cycles. Uh, somebody's trying to feel a bit victorious. Um, they are dealing with this chaser, and I will get a little bit more specific on this, but definitely um, I feel like somebody's missing you and they're sitting or they have sat in a space of self-indulgence. And quite frankly, uh, I feel like they're trying to recover from this. They're coming out of it and they're trying to focus on self-worth, um, maybe trying to heal, but it is in the reverse. So somebody might be over um, using chemicals, I suppose. I kind of get drinking off this card, maybe even some pills that they're over, uh, they're kind of overindulging in and they're, they're missing you, but it's so deep, it's so, so deep. I feel like they're going to come back and want to want to date. They're going to rush. I not. I don't even know about rushing in, but this is a sense. It's it's impending doom if I don't come, and I can do it again. And the nine of wands is like, keep me in, coach. <laughs> you know, and I you might have heard me say this before, but I'm kind of I kind of like boxing. I'm I'm that girl. I know. But this this you know boxers in the ring and they can't see out of one eye their lips busted, their fingers are busted, they got broken ribs and they can barely see and breathe. And they're trying to get up off the ground, hanging on the ropes and the coach is like ready to throw the flag in. And he's like, no, I can do one more round. I can do this one more time. And that's the energy coming off this. Is this person misses you and it's that, that I can't let go and I, and I shouldn't hold on, right? That's when I, when you hear readers say codependent, that's the feeling I have is, I, I should walk away from this, but I so badly miss my person. I miss this energy. And it's that runner chaser dynamic. This might be a twin. This might be karmic. I don't know yet. Um, the fact that this, I have like several different cards saying, walk away, come back, walk away, come back. I feel like this is like a, um, a cyclical pain um, relationship. Somebody seeks out the pain. It's almost like the pain keeps them in it because the pain makes him feel alive. Like the pain 
validates that there's love there. I don't know what that means. Like if I don't feel pain, I don't care about you. But because I'm excruciatingly in this horrific pile of goo on the floor, I must want you. That's the feeling. I don't know if that's you. I don't know if it's this other person, but that's the vibe I'm getting. And it's so runner chaser. Vibe. Like, look at this. I cannot be more clear. This could not be more clear of a read. I got the runner chaser, the passion, and the heart and the, and the, uh, the rose and it's clarification. And I feel like somebody's getting the truth about this. They're waking up to the cycle and they're like, this is insane. This is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. And the irony is, is that nobody really heals from this. They keep using each other back and forth. And I think this is a situationship that is long-term, but it's, it's open. It's an open relationship, but yet it's only one-sided. So I feel like one of the parties is open and has a lot of uh, partners, we'll just go with that. And the other one is expecting some kind of commitment and yet they keep ending up going back to the same cycle over and over and over again. I have the 10 of cups and then I have palm tree, which says stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility, but it's in the reverse. So somebody is leaving this because they find that this relationship is not sustainable. This whole thing is built on sand and a dream. I don't know, <laughs> it's like fluff and feathers. There's not. There's nothing here that anybody can really grow on. This is an in and out relationship and fine. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I feel like somebody is finally calling this to an end. They're finally letting go of the in and out back and forth. This could be a pattern of living, a pattern of uh, behavior that really did serve a purpose when you or this person, whoever is watching me, started this relationship, right? And if it's not you, maybe this is an awakening that your person may have been this this kind of, um, had this kind of behavior. Your person might have been in and out, back and forth, historically with another partner. And you caught them in between cycles, I guess, in between the cyclical, uh, on a break. As, as Ross and Rachel and friends used to scream at each other, I was on a break. That's kind of the vibe I have, is somebody, um, I feel if you came into a new relationship, they were on a break. And this is a cyclical long-standing relationship. They want to be victorious by going and attaching themselves. To, I don't know another word. It's like a leech. It's like a, it's not really a join. It's more like attach to their person. And I feel like if it's you, you're in a, you're interrupting this cycle. And they are like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting you. Where did you come from? I like you. I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know if I want to go back to this. And this person's like, wait a minute, what happened to our dance? Where'd you go? We were in the middle of a dance here and you you got a new partner. Wait, did that, we didn't talk. No, that's the vibe. So I have, uh, and if that, I mean, there's, mm, you got, if I'm not your favorite reader, I don't know. So like the two of the two of cups landed on a side. I'm a reader that I leave the cards lie where they lie, right? I don't turn them around. I don't try to manipulate energy. If it fell on the side, I leave it on the side. This person's in and out. They don't know what they want to do, right? They don't know what they want to do. And right behind that, I got the girl with the snake. So somebody's trying to interrupt your relationship or that's how you see it, where in reality, you are the third party interrupting this dance, but they are now um, trying to manipulate your partner back, I feel to the cycle. Um, yeah, I have, I like you in the reverse. Yeah. So I feel like this person is trying to get over you or vice versa, their party, or your person's trying to get over their ex. Uh, romance is blooming and flirting in the, is in the air. And I got the high priestess also in the reverse. So there's hidden motives. There's superficial, you know, confusion. Anytime there's confusion, that is not of a higher power. That is not, I feel, our um, divine doesn't create confusion. It, it creates light so we can see the manipulation in and the gameplay that's going on. And that, that as pretty much as, you know, like when you have a light and you turn it on in the dark, you can't not see what you see. You see it, right? You have light. That's what's going on here. Um, is somebody is recognizing that uh, somebody is being manipulative, somebody has a game play. So there's a strategy that's coming, like it's unfolding in front of your eyes. 
um, whether it be you or your person, they're recognizing this is a toxicity. There's no value in this relationship. And there's a, there's a repeated, a repetitive pattern. And I feel like your person is recognizing that the relationship that they were so badly holding on to, to hope and pray that this would work and invested in year after year after year, um, is dissolving because it won't sustain. It's not sustainable. It was never sustainable ever. This was never going to work out. And I think your person's waking up to this. Now, here we go. This is the energy that's flying off the table and smacking me in the head. I got stabbed in the back in the 10 of the wands in the reverse. So this is a continued um, relationship of this person now sees you if you're the middle person and you just like, hi, surprise, this might be your tower moment, me telling you that your person may have a relationship on the side that you interrupted and is stepping away from. And that person, the person they left you or left them for, that person that they came to you, that one over there, feel stabbed in the back and they're now lying. They're being malicious. They're being, uh, they're going to create just malice all over probably your world as well as the person <laughs> that created this crap storm. <laughs> and I feel like the person, um, that your person, the, I don't know how to, the ex of your person now, I suppose the person they left, um, is strategic is like cutting and cunning and, uh, very irresponsible and envious and coming after you, very jealous of you, um, but also very angry at the partner because they quit the dance. They feel left out in the cold, even though they're the ones that I think started, stepped out the first time. Whatever. Okay, so I have love in the reverse and I have, um, uh, excuse me, temperance in the reverse. So there is a lot of fighting and arguing between these two. There is no love left. Um, there's conflict. I feel almost like, it's almost like if somebody was married and they were getting a divorce or they were trying to get divorced or a longstanding relationship, but I kind of get the marriage vibe. And so they're on the way down the aisle to get divorced, right? It, you can, I see a courthouse. This is messy as hell. And because the person is historically had been fighting this divorce. Your partner has been arguing with this other person saying, I don't want this. I want you. I want it. I want a relationship. I want to make this work. I love you, right? I love you, babe. Let's make this work. And their party was consistently manipulative, creating fights and arguments. My throat is closing as I say this. <clears throat> and they feel, um, they felt like constantly never good enough, put down, lied to your person. Um, and then they met you. And then they met you and then they had some hope and they saw themselves in a different light and they started to heal. And I feel um, their love and their attention and affection shifted from not feeling worthy to I am more than enough. You make them feel more than enough. That's the energy. And I feel like this person that, that um, didn't, there wasn't balance. There wasn't any balance. It feels stabbed in the back and now they don't feel loved anymore and they're withdrawing their love from them. They're feeling that energy. They're feeling left out in the cold and they're feeling um, they did it to themselves. They stabbed their own heart, this other party, as they watch you and your person try to move forward. That's the energy going on. This is powerful, y'all. And I feel like what used to be what used to be uh, um, your person that you're with now, I want to say it's your person. If you resonate and you're still watching me, this makes sense to you. But the person that you are now with, um, I feel, are mirroring each other. And I feel are um, almost telepathic. You could finish each other's sentences. I had a friend, and I'll never forget that. My best friend, Missy, who I, I, I adored as a kid, um, we were thick as thieves, peas and carrots from fourth grade on. And as young adults, um, we moved away from each other, right? And I didn't talk to her for years. And one day she called me at two o'clock in the morning and I had, we didn't have cell phones back then. I am that old. Yes, it was a phone on the wall with a cord. That was me. So at two o'clock in the morning, I get a call and I hadn't talked to her in four years. And I pick it up and I said, Hey, Missy. She goes, how, how'd you know it was me? I said, I just knew it was you. And then as before she couldn't say anything, I knew her brother had died. And she goes, Bill's dead. 
And I said, I'll be there in like, I'll be there in eight hours. And I hung up the phone. That was our conversation. And I was packing, I'm halfway driving home, eight hours driving home. And I remember thinking, I hope she's back home and she's not in Texas or California. <laughs> I was like, she's, I, I hope she's there. <clears throat> but I already knew she would be. You know what I mean? That's, that's what's happening here. It's a transference of energy from this person's ex relationship. And as you're healing, as you and your partner are healing this past whatever, that energy is transferring and it's bonding towards you. That's what's got, that's what's going on now. So you, I feel like the, the mirror card really speaks to me as the mirroring and the transferring with, I don't think they were ever telepathic, but they played the game and they mirrored each other with negative behavior. And as they're healing, they're, and they're finding them themselves. They're finding themselves in this relationship. They're finding, I feel like an open mind, a uh, spiritual awakening, um, their health is improving. I feel as if they are um, spending more time alone and feeling okay with it. That's that's really healthy. They're not running from anything and they're not chasing anything. They're sitting in a space of comfort, of neutrality and peaceful. That's lovely. This is great. They're healing. And then on the, the last two cards I have out so far is a hammer in the reverse and the five of uh, swords in the upright. <clears throat> So um, the hammer in the upright means sabotage, rebuilding, and uh, interrogation, Woo, repetitive, persistent, working on it. I feel like somebody is giving up, okay, and they're and they're giving up on trying to win. So I think that might be the ex of this person. Um, and take it as this resonates. I just read energy, but the the pictures I have in my mind, I, I can kind of pick put it together. The person that they're leaving, this is about money and power. The person that this, your ex is leaving, your ex tied, your, I'm sorry, your person is tying their emotional stability and their self-esteem to the, the health of that relationship. And I don't see that actually, I don't really see that was ever fulfilling. It was never sustainable. Like I said, it was never meant to be sustainable. It was always a lie. I mean, if I ever put my, my self-esteem based on your opinion of me, I'm screwed. <laughs> Cause it depends, I mean, I call you every day, like, do you like me? Am I, how's my hair? Do you, what am I wearing? Like all that shit, no, 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 mm, mm, we ain't, nobody's got time for that. And I feel like that's, this person is finally waking up going, oh my God, I can't believe I, like, I didn't feel like, like I was enough with this ex person. Anyway, that's the secret. The secret is you're finding out now, you're finding your own worth and the other secrets that are coming out are the manipulation and the games. This person, your person's ex is using the kids, is trying to like use the family, is spreading rumors, is lying, is distorting, is like criminal, like I see criminal behavior, signing uh, documents, forging documents. Uh, I see something with some tax return being forged, trying to get money. Um, I keep hearing inheritance. Somebody's trying to steal somebody's inheritance. I don't know what really that means. I don't know how you do that unless um, that was the intent is to say that they're still married so they could get a portion of it. I don't know. Um, the kids, what bother me is that this person's using the kids <clears throat> and, and the visitation like slandering their name, slandering, slandering their character, saying uh, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, nobody's perfect and your person has flaws and, and I'm sure they fought and I'm sure there was shit that flew around the room and cuss words like any marriage. And if you say that never has happened, you just wait five minutes because it will. It will. People are human and there's only a, there's a tipping point and the tipping point is either you deal with things or you don't. But if you don't, it's going to keep going forward like a bunch of dominoes one after the other and the fights get worse and the verbal shit gets worse and you feel worse and the arguing gets worse and or you deal with it and they never dealt with it they dealt with it by making up and cheating on each other and cussing and lying and screaming and leaving and coming back and back and forth it was toxic this thing we never had it was never sustainable this was a lesson to your person about self-esteem this was a lesson to your person about aligning their chakras as we say see ya and getting an alignment um from the from the jump and they were never aligned this is somebody who said i find value young i feel you very young old school old thinking i'm going to take care of you says your man or your person your it's masculine energy i feel that's like i'm going to take care of you to his partner of a young age i'll be the breadwinner i this that and the other 
and because he doesn't or sh who, whatever this energy is feels like to me this person wants to um be the provider and the yeah let's do it like okay so it never really was based on love it was based on security and it was false security because it was based on the opinion of somebody else's opinion of them that's how they found their security oh mm, i don't like it mm -mm, nope don't like it nope nope no girl with a snake i'm gonna go back to that right there Ugh, i need a shower after this okay so tell me what's happening Ooh, that's too many. I'm not taking them. There's like 30 cards there. Hang on. Tell me what's happening to the collective. I'm going to pull a couple more cards because I'm being called to. I got the moon in the reverse. Awesome. So somebody's making mistakes. The truth's coming out. So somebody made a mistake. Um, I feel like somebody opened a piece of mail, got an email. Somebody tripped over some slight piece of, wait, what? Like that. One of those, wait, wait, what? That. Um, yeah, I got the devil. And I got the higher font. So somebody lied about something about the marriage. The actual, the actual, mm, somebody said, maybe they filled out a, 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 bought a new home and said, yes, you can use that person. My ex is like, said, yes, I'm still married. And yes, this is their income, right? They never claimed that you guys were going through a divorce and signed, bought a new house, car, something like that. Something valuable, very high ticket, and they're gonna lose a car because you're now a tied. Like you didn't know this because you didn't get a credit hit or you just went and bought a major something and you didn't even know that you did. That's part of it. And I feel like this is also about lack of boundaries. So this person's all up in, in this X is all up in your person's stuff, um, messing with it, just messing, financially messing with it, emotionally messing with it. It's coming out. The secret's coming out. I don't know if you try, if your person just went and applied for a loan or wanted to get a grant or is trying to do something, go to school, something like that, and they're telling them about stuff or this person, forgive me, male energy. I just feel it. It could be two women. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's just like the energy is like this person's shocked. Like, wait a minute. Wait, I didn't do any of this. I didn't, I didn't fill out any of this paperwork. I didn't buy any of this. None of this is mine. Whose is this? And then they found out that somebody is using their name and their credit score, etc. I have the seven of um, seven of wands and it did come out on its side. So somebody, yeah, threatening, disrespect, disempowered, insecure. That's what this person's feeling. This ex is, um, they feel powerless. They feel hopeless. Um, their, their love and money train is leaving their security. So this person, your person's ex felt like whoever that is felt, uh, completely in control and the puppet master over the game and created an illusion of the character of the person that you love. And unfortunately, this person is going to have hell come down on this person. I mean, like they're going to lose everything. I mean, everything. I see like rolling clouds come in, thunderstorms, and this is like hell is coming for this person. Um, like I'm, I feel like somebody's sick. I feel like there's, um, there's a group of folks I feel involved in this slander, smear campaign, uh, character assassination, this blockage. Your person has just overcome some extraordinary, uh, feats of just, I could cry. I'm serious. This is a, a very, just, mm, I have no words. I don't have any for the first time. <laughs> I feel like your person has overcome some challenges that like are biblical, like seriously biblical, like nobody would put up with this. Nobody else could handle the level of pain that this person's been through and the extreme sadness and um, gameplay, gameplay, strategic gameplay to try to ruin, if not um, annihilate, erase the person that you love. Yeah, this all this person wanted was your person only wanted happiness. Your person only wanted to be loved. That's the whole the whole premise of, of this message to me is the person you love or you're in a relationship, whatever you want to call it, I feel great great feelings between the two of you and I feel like it's like you've known this person a minute, you know, a while. They've only, this is all they've ever wanted is to be a, a parent and a 
and an equal partner. Now, that being said, they have some work to do. They, they don't, um, they haven't felt stable a lot and they have, um, I think they're getting the crap together though. I feel like they're finding the beauty in their life. They're finding the beauty in themselves. They are intelligent, highly, highly intelligent creator. They can create something out of nothing. And I think they did. And I feel like whatever they created or they're working on, it's it's like app completion or coming to a finale and ready to launch. I keep hearing ready to, I'm ready to launch. It's been proven. I can launch it now. I mean, I'm so proud of this person. I am so proud of this person. The things that this person has overcome and every single one of these things was a hurdle for the next level. And it's like, uh, there's another reader, I, wanted, uh, I love reading, uh, listening to him. He's like, new devils, or new levels, new devils. And this is, I say that, and it makes sense because in this storyline, the messages I'm getting for this person is whatever, whatever they're working on. I don't care if it's weight loss, I don't care if they're building a program, a software program, I don't care if they're an artist, um, they're working in a, you know, like I keep seeing computers, so I feel like that, and I feel like it's healthcare, so I keep feeling like somebody's working, like I came from that arena, so maybe that's why they're using it to talk to me, but it could be anything. It could be financial, it could be um, anything. It could be anything. But I see like the like it I see the stock market line go up. So whatever this is is going to be very successful and should be like ticker tape banner parade because whatever they're gonna launch is going to change the lives of so many people in about in a positive way. Like I'm waiting, I'm looking at the news every day because it's right around the corner. I don't know what I'm reading about, but I feel like it's gonna be extra extraordinary. And the person had to go through major, major challenges. They kept pushing forward and they were not they were like, I'm trusting my divine. I'm trusting, I'm trusting the messages I'm giving, I'm given. And I'm literally like walking one rock, one step at a time and praying that where I'm stepping will hold me. Like, I don't know what's under this rock, but I'm going to stand in faith every single step. And by doing so has dodged every single dagger as every, every single lie this person has told every manipulative trick every single like this is like smearing about their um maybe they said that your person was a drug addict or sold drugs or had a prostitute ring i don't know like crazy stuff but that's what they're trying to say and this person um is butthurt because their person left their ticket left and i'm not mad about it i'm just saying whatever happened it's personal to the person even though they started it they walked away from your person they did and they're mad at the person, your person, for not running after them. Like, wait, where are you? They were cha they were running and they're like, you can't catch me. And they looked around, there's nobody chasing them. Nobody is behind them for miles. They're alone in the desert. They chase themselves into the desert where they're sitting, sad. Nobody's rushing and passionately chasing this person. Hmm. That's, thank you for that validation. Now, that being said, this person is evil-minded. Um, Ah, the hatred. It's just hatred. Pure evil. I don't know what else to say. And pure selfish. This is a dark... I almost want to say, and I hate... God, help me. Help me. Help me. Um, I've been reading a lot. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if it's the new moon, the full moon, um, the retrograde, the placements. I don't know. I'm not that smart. I just feel... Somebody has even uh, lowered because nothing's working. Nothing is working. And the person, your person is, the more they throw, the stronger this person gets, right? And the more dirt they throw, the more they character assassinate, the more they make comments or pretend they're somebody they're not or does all the things and says the, all the garbage. Um, it bounced, it, it, they were protected this whole way because this person trusted every single step and trusted their intuition and the divine every single step. This is not a religious person. This is a spiritual person I'm reading for. Um, I think they came from a background of religion um, and I think they've recovered from it. They've opened their mind a little bit. Scary, I know, um, but they're trusting and it's working. So why wouldn't they continue to invest in it? They're like, I'm doing more of this. This is like the first time in my life I feel like I'm making progression without anybody and I am going to be victorious. That is the vibe. And this person is totally being victorious. Well done, whoever you are. Male, female, I don't care. 
you'll know who I am. You'll absolutely know who I'm talking about if this resonates. If it doesn't, flip me off and, you know, I mean, or you can flip me off, flip the channel. Um, you'll find another reader. I have justice is in reverse. That's what the person's going to feel. False accusations. That's what I heard. False accusations, injustice, intolerance, irresponsibility, and dishonesty. Everything. They threw everything at your person. Everything at this person. Got the police involved. Started, like, filed false reports. Um, I mean, your person could really, like, take, clean them out. They could take the house. They could take the car. They could take... They wouldn't work at Burger King. No offense. I like Burger King. You know what I mean? This person is going to... Is happy finding their own love. Check this out. They're going to move forward. And I don't know if they're with somebody. I think they're dating you. I feel like they're dating you or they want to date you, maybe. I don't feel like they're really in a relationship. Not like that. They're kind of enjoying being single. They're finding out who they are. They're liking dating. Um, they're finding their inner strength. And they're coming into money. They're, this, is, this is the payout. This is a wheel of fortune moment. This is everything. All chips in, coming at um, your person. And it's like... The windows of heaven have opened and it's going to rain providence all over this person. Like complete, complete packages with their name on it for years. Like this person's been stuck for a long time. And I do feel like this, um, this ex along with a handful of other friends, family members, this toxic group over here that are butthurt and sad um, are doing some witchery stuff, woogity boo stuff in the kitchen um trying to concoct something now there's a practitioner i feel inv involved that actually knows what they're doing there is one i feel she's pretty strong um she's not who you think I, that's the funny thing is i know who it is i know i see her it's the mother it's the mother it's not the person it's not the ex it's the mother and the mother doesn't want this to happen so i think that's interesting um, that she's involving, that she's trying to jump in and, and affect this relationship because she doesn't want to lose. This is a general, let me just keep it real. Your person, whoever this is, and whoever I'm reading for, it could be you, you might resonate. Um, there's other parties that I'm pulling around you though, so hang in there. I don't know who you're dealing with, but that person, they call you theirs. So if I'm reading for you, you have somebody in your energy who's already said I'm this person. So I'm, I'm with him or I'm with her. They've already attached themselves to you. So be careful because I don't think you're ready for that. Not yet, but it's, it's getting there. So you have somebody, if I'm reading for you and this is your reading, the people that you just walked away from, from a lifetime of BS and fighting and manipulation and conning and you walk through a hellstorm of legal issues, slandering, you lost a job, maybe two, they are the ones that sabotaged it. Um, if you have been threatened, gotten phone calls, hung up on, all of a sudden your internet quit, your, um, your car has, you know, been towed for no reason. You end up with cracked windshields and, you know, slit tires, all that. If they can get to your vehicle, like that's them, that's them. This is butthurt people because they don't want you to get an inch ahead. They want you to lose your faith, lose your light, lose your hope, lose and all you did was go inside and you got a little down. And you're like, I trust that this is going to turn out okay. <laughs> you just, you may have cried. You may have gone through some grief. You went through some pain and you lost this person. You really loved this person and you're sad that you did. But um, if this is your reading, what a major plot twist. If you grieved this relationship and you're finally coming out on the other side and the other person is livid, livid that you're getting over them. And I'm not kidding when I say they have tried to throw everything from the Old Testament. I mean, Smythe all over you. They are using, I feel like, religion and possibly um, some darker stuff at you. And the more they throw at you, this is the funniest thing. Um, not ha ha, but it's bouncing off of you and going back to them. So everything that they were praying and incantation, and I see like... I see like a group of folks in the woods, in the woods, under a full moon, doing come, some kind of incantation prayer. Like somebody, you might be watching the moon, you have a thing with the moon, you connect to the moon, but you don't realize they're just like down the street, literally down the street from you doing this shit. Now it could be in another state, but they're, <clears throat> don't want me to talk about it, um, but I feel like they're doing magic on you at the same time. Look at that breaking point. 
<laughs> and you are healing. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. This is the 4th of July for you all. Well done. You are becoming independent. This is Independence Day. And uh, you have gotten past this breaking point. You are healing. They are at their breaking point. They're going to lose everything. Like you get far enough away from this and you're going to have blessing upon blessing upon blessing upon blessing. And they're going to have karma upon karma. I don't wish that from anything. I have a runner in reverse, not running anymore. You're not running from anything. Congratulations. I have um, elusive also in the reverse, dishonesty, uh, deception, and trickery. It's, it's not working anymore. None of this is working anymore on you. Let's see what else is happening here. I've got two more. I have hopeless in the upright and beauty in the upright. I feel this might be your ex thinking um, you have another person or you actually do have another person. Kind of the vibe I was feeling is the person maybe you are chasing or you want to be with. Um, you might feel hopeless about that this beauty has moved on and connected with another person. Or, um, and you see this person as uh, grace, grace-filled, kind-hearted. Um, and you might feel, if this is you, feel like you're missing out or falling apart on the person because you're in despair. Whoever, that's not true. I know that that's how you feel, but that's not, the, that's not this reality. I swear, that's not this reality. I feel like um, it will turn out. It may not be today, but it will turn out. Karma. You might have some karma. You might have some karma. Your person definitely has some karma. Watch your back. Um, shallow in the reverse. Hollow, empty, and boredom. That's the other thing, too, is somebody is going through a change. Right now, they're having an awakening. They're waking up to this, and they felt um, they have been bored, and they might reach out to you. You might. You have a lot of energy I don't know who I'm reading for. This is the craziest reading. I don't think I've ever had a reading like this. You have approximately six other energies hanging around, dancing around you. They are waiting to be next. <laughs> so you might have a list of people, I'm just saying, that you uh, may call on. That might be the case. But that's shallow and that's empty. I'm not kidding. That's, that's how I feel. And you're bored with that. You don't want that anymore. I don't think that even... You know, I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting is you moved on and you're, you try to, you know, fill, fill the days with other things. And uh, some of it is addiction that you're over covering or, or bad behavior habits. Yeah. Um, you might, you might be praying right now heavily for forgiveness, um, looking for light. You might, um, I don't think the irony here, here's the irony is the person that you walked away from or your person walked away from, take it as it resonates. Because there's a lot, I feel like there's a handful of folks that this is really going to hit home on. Right over there, on the other side of this storyline, this religious person, heavy, heavy religion, um, who started the, the rumors and the lies and the deception and the name play and the, all the things, right? They are praying. They have such an ego they don't see what they've done is wrong. They've justified their behavior and their dirt throw and their smear campaign. Um, but you, my friend, when you started to deal with, because I see you on your knees, I see you and the divine is sitting right there, right next to you, listening, like with the hand on your shoulder saying, it's gonna be okay, totally protected. And you're saying, is this because I've done some dirt? Is this because maybe you cheated on your ex? Well, shit, I mean, seriously, I'm just saying, you know, not judging here, because I don't know, I don't think I could withstand this for as long as you did. Um, but I feel like this person um, may come back to you and apologize, it may not be real, but I think yours was genuine when you went to the divine and you prayed and you asked for help. You did, you asked for help. Um, and I feel like you got it. But I feel like I keep being drawn to the beauty card. There's somebody that is on your, top of your mind and you're in your eye like you can't get this person out of your mind um and that that's an awakening that's the issue you have yet to open your heart this has been a healing moment for you i think you need to i think you're this whole situation has allowed you to align you know and i always say the third eye with your chakras right so you can be open-minded to not that not every relationship will be the same as the one you just walked away from. And not every single human being will play the same games and you won't get hurt. There are people that actually want to reciprocate a deeper relationship. And I think you're getting ready for that, but there's some work you still gotta do. 
Ooh, this one's standing out because it's turned inside and out and behind. Um, longing, yeah, craving, um, wanting, aching, and you're looking for something with depth. This is kind of the energy I was feeling, is you're looking, you want a second chance, you feel broken, you might be a little bit obsessed, you might be going through a spiritual awakening or an emotional storm, that might be you, it might be your person, take it as it resonates, but the longing is for something substan some, something substantial, where when I started this reading, the thing was not sustainable. The first relationship was never sustainable, never. It was never even equal. It wasn't even close to equal. It was, you guys were cute. Y'all were cute together. Yes, you were. You were cute, but that's it. <laughs> I mean, as long as your job was to stand there and look cute, you would do fine. You get an A plus. But anything deeper than that, it didn't, it wouldn't sustain. You aren't even close to this. You don't even think alike. You have nothing in common. There's no interest here between the two of you, one, mm -mm. and there's not bad, good, right, wrong. It's just pain and how you two have danced the pain out before. Um, you quit dancing. You said, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight for us. I don't, whatever, whoever I'm reading for, if you resonate, this is what I'm saying to you. I don't want to fight for us. I'm going to fight for me. I'm going to fight for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to fight for what I want. I'm going to give myself a chance. I'm going to give myself 110% and it's not in spite of you. It's because I, I deserve it and I haven't done that ever. I've never put me first and I'm putting me first. That's this energy. Well done. Well done. This is a huge epiphany for you. Well done. I know that sounds crazy um, for a lot of folks to watch this and say, wait a minute, I'm not pro-divorce. <laughs> I am not pro anything, but I do have a different understanding. I do. And that doesn't jive with a lot of folks um, in the church, we'll say. And the reason being, um, I do read the Bible, believe it or not. And I feel, and I'm, here's my, my thing for today. You know, if you read it, actually, if you're at all interested in that, um, one of the things that I found that uh, Jesus the, got mad at um, were the Pharisees, the religious folks, most of the time. He didn't like them. In fact, he got really mad when they were deciding to make money off goats when they were trying to sell sheep at the temple when they were trying to give homage. And uh, he flipped the tables. He was so pissed off. Um, I have yet to flip a table in a church. But I kind of get the same vibe. It's the same thing. You got one buddy. Somebody's trying to be spiritual and actually have a relationship with the divine. And the other person's like, follow the rules. Follow the rules. So it doesn't, it, that, how could this ever get off the ground? ever like you were just sleeping now you're awake now you know what you want well done um i don't know if i have anything i think i don't know i feel like i feel like i just want to leave it i want to leave it there um you might need an earth sign coming up i feel like you have an earth sign they'll be back in the reverse i think that your person's finally going to give up i think they're going to let go of you um they're not going to communicate anymore i think they're just going to and again, I got to open up your heart. That's the second time I got it. And I got to move on. They might get stuck for a minute. They might have a problem moving on. They might use a pet or a kids. I kind of get kids off this little, um, like to manipulate you, to have conversations with you. Um, their intuition's blocked. That's the vibe I got. So when I'm sitting here and I'm talking about the voodoo voodoo, this is what I felt. Mm. So whoever I'm talking to, your person, whoever's doing the effery all over the place, when you, the farther you get away from this energy, the more I recognize that their gifts are going away. They're losing their gifts. They're losing, if they had any spiritual powers whatsoever, any gifts that the divine gave them at birth are gone. And this person had some talent. They didn't use it correctly, for sure. Um, yeah, I have no. And they want you to come back and turn it around and say yes. Um, but it's not happening. It's not. Um, I think they wouldn't want it. They're going to ask you on a date. You're going to say no. They're, I mean, this this person may come up with all sorts of stuff. Um, some of you, there's a, and again, I hear like a lot of things happening in my head right now. So I hear like somebody might come back and say, hey, I'm pregnant to try to get you back. Somebody might say the kids were in a car accident. Somebody might say um, the water heater broke or uh, exploded or the vent on the I saw something with the vent where you put the um liner where you put the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I don't know what it is it's uh the filter I guess the filter broke the, the the place where you put the filter broke I don't know how that could break but whatever 
Um, so they might manipulate you to get you in there. It's almost like a spider web. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you kind of like, I want to draw you back in, you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. All right. We are close to Halloween, I suppose. Um, but that's kind of the vibe I get. It's kind of dark and, and sinister, but you, my friend, well done. You have been protected and guided this whole trip. And, um, I feel like some crazy things are right around the corner. Crazy good things for once. Take a breath, enjoy your space. Um, and be sit in gratitude. Oh, there's a good one. Let me see. What would they say to you now if they could? Not that you care. Do I even want to say this? Let's find out. Anything you want me to say? We need to let go of each other. <laughs> I'm ending it there. I have nothing more to say. We need to let go of each other. I, I knew exactly what I was doing. This person was so manipulative. I feel like I messed up everything. I'm telling you, I think this is an ego and it's super, you know, not even regret. It's more, I got caught kind of vibe. It's, it's like anger and malice. And it's like, um, angry that you are moving ahead. It's, it's vinegar on the lips. It's bitter and it's, it's just not okay with this person. They have to see you glow up. They have to see, they get to watch your expansion. They get to see you walk into extreme abundance. Well done, whoever I'm waiting for. Thank you for watching. I hope this resonated, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna actually do the Zodiac uh, signs tomorrow. Um, when I have a minute. <laughs> Thank you for watching and, and subscribing. I surely enjoy giving you these messages as I get them. Um, please consider hitting the uh, subscribe. I've gotten a couple of people saying I've looked and my subscription button came off of the following bell, following, whatever. It, it'll bing when I upload stuff, you'll be notified. Notification bell, thank you, um, comes up. So check it and make sure that you're still subscribed if you still would like to receive updates on when I um, get new content out. So love and light to each and every one of you. Take care.